Today I'm going to show you how they paint this young woman in the outdoor, in the forest. And I want to show you through the process of how to focus on the big area, just like creating art, just like a builder building a house. Start from the foundation layer and building up more and more small structure. Let's take a look. Let's do a little study for composition. At this step, all I need to care about is how I divide the canvas. Like right now, it's about this much. So I don't really need to look at inside the, the face and so on. So I only need to see this is the area for the face, and this the hair. And I'm gonna see whether or not this is what I want before I move forward to the next layer. So compared to building a house, this is will be the foundation. It's a very rough foundation, making sure it meets your need. Okay, coming down over here, I make sure I include a hand. And when you think about hand in our member community, we are going to looking into the challenge of learning the anatomy of hands pretty soon. So if you're not a member yet, please come to join us. So, think about this, the leaf, I'm going to include the leaf too, right over here, the leaf in this. So that means the hands need to be a little bit lower, the finger here, but you see is a shape. Uh, we want to talk about how to uh, see the, uh, the shape, the measurements for hand, like that. And coming on to this side, think a little more. I think the face, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it, the chin will be over here. So I will allow have a little bit more room at the bottom over here and show a little bit more um, area for the arm and so on. From the shoulder over here to the elbow is one and one third of a face. So I'm going to Maybe the top, we can move it a little bit higher, like that. So at this point, you don't really need to think about, oh, what are the feet, what are the eyes, the nose, those things. Just like a house. When you build a house, you don't need to think about, oh, what's my room, uh, what's my dresser, and what's my, uh, and so on. You plan it, actually, everything in your head, in your plan. But however, when you're building it, it's different. You need to start from the foundation one step at a time. So I plan on this is this location, but you don't need to pencil every little details into that. And so on the shoulder, I'm gonna move it a little bit higher over here, like that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to focus on the big color. Okay, now I'm going to use this large brush. What I'm going to do, first I'm going to make the dark purple color for the hair first. So I'm going to just see this whole color, this big shape, where is it? At the beginning, the color, the pink, it looks a little bit thin. That was just good. And you can building up the paint, the color a little bit thicker and thicker uh, as we go. Compare other mediums, uh, acrylic dried pretty fast compared to the oil. And, but it's a disadvantage as well as there's a disadvantage coming with it. So now I'm gonna having uh, this area for the head area and I'm also put a little dark color in here as we started. That's good. And a little dark color over here too. And a little shadow like that. You need to let go all the fear in your mind. It just paint the, the big area first. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the face a little bit later, but before I 
going away in this area, just put a little red color here first. Just the water, make it a little thinner. Red color is our lucky color. So when you see a red color, always make you feel positive. Okay. Like that. Just put those color in, in location first, and not in any details yet. A little bit shadow underneath here. That's good. A little brown color over here, I'm gonna fill in the brown color later. And the shoulder over here, the arm on this side. So put the color in for now. And the next thing I would like to do before I go into the face, I want to go into uh, the background. I'm going to see how all other areas cover with the color, proximary, what I want. I'm going to put this yellow color in here. This immediately looking like the color in the tree. Some of the tree over here, the leaves like that. Get the atmosphere showing on the painting as soon as you can. And a little color over here. And I'm going to get a little blue color, a little red color. Now it looks a little bit great. And I'm going to put this color. Get some energy going and make you feel like you're excited. Now, one on one, we're gonna get a little white color, make it look more as great. Um, making sure the background color overall is a little bit lighter than the color uh, in the head. Like that. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter and coming around the outside of the face, even a little bit lighter. There you go. Okay, coming around on this side, we can uh, separate the color, make the color look a little bit different. Uh, later, this is called smaller shape. Put it on this side, a little bit more white color. If it looks too much blue, put a little red color, or even press some, press some yellow color into it, so it would make it a little bit more gray if you want to get the gray color. Okay, coming on this side, that's good, like that, that's good. Think about the value, watch out how the value compare to other colors. And not too much details, you can always change the detail a little bit later. And now I'll come to the front over here, and have quite a bit of warm color. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow, and with the blue color, you can get the green color. That's good. Like that. But you don't want to make it solid. It's just tap, tap, tap on. And now, I'm gonna to come to the front over here, and look like a little bit purplish color, so it's just great to have red and blue color into it. So, have a little bit. Let's start from a little bit darker color first. And then put a little bit light colors uh, after. Like that. Some brown color, so get a little red color here. Get yourself excited. It just, just put the color in cover and you can get into the detail a little bit later. Okay, here you go. And coming on to this side, and have to quite a bit of dark color here too. A little blue color. As you see, I only use the three primary colors plus the white color. Sometimes you use black, but mostly I don't use black colors. 
because all you think about is dark color, not black color. The dark color with the blue and the red color can make quite a bit of dark color. It's just all about the thinking, the way of you think. Okay, put all the color look like the tree trunk. And uh, the smaller line, we can do that a little bit later. Now, I come back to the front over here. That's good. I'm gonna add some little bit lighter color. Now, what I might want to do is get a little bit smaller brush and maybe this brush is number uh, eight. That's good. I'm gonna mix the red and the blue and have some white color with this. That's good enough. A little bit kind of gray purple colors. So we don't need the very bright purple color. And like that, and maybe even lighter. Okay. Okay, like that. This is not much white color in the background here. So that's fine. Just Give some color and over here a little bit here too. Okay, the front over here. There's a good idea to have uh, the darker color uh, at the base first because that the shadow and the underneath dark color would also show a little bit better, like that. But right now it looks a little bit more. Um, <laughs> Still rough, uh, a little bit, but that's what this step for is have some color, give some suggestion there first, and make you this is very much also giving you enough suggestions as you're moving forward. Also, keep the underneath la layer colors uh, show. That's fine. We're gonna make a better judgment after you're seeing all the colors. Because right now it's a little bit too early to judge it. And when the color get a little bit more and more into the background, and you, the detail, it get a little bit less and less. I'm gonna get a little bit at the green color at the front over here. Like that, maybe a little bit darker color at the front over here. Even some darker color somewhere over here. Maybe a little bit over there. That's good. And the bottom over here, the tree trunk. Can be a little bit more visible at the bottom here. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna get a little bit dark color on the edge over here too. That's good. Now, except the face and the hands, that it looks like uh, the colors is everywhere. Let's continue. Give a little bit uh, orange colors at the top over here. It squints your eye. It just focus on the illusion and the feeling. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color. Tap tap. Look like a small group of uh, leads in the background over here. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color here too. Here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit red color on. This is maybe a little bit too much. If it's too much, we can come back to take care of it and maybe get rid of it, okay? Like that, get some atmosphere. 
All right, get a little yellow color here too. Like a, and tap on cover a part partially of the tree trunk. So we have and have some of the color on the ground here too. So we're gonna come back to reorganize uh, a little bit later. Like that. Okay, now I maybe have a little bit lighter color. Uh, alternate a little bit. Good, a little bit wider. Like that. Now that's good. We come back to do a little more later. Now what I like to do is to also use this number A. And I'm going to set the color into the face. Now let's start from the forehead, the light color first. This is a little bit too bright. So I'm going to take a little bit this color mix into it. That would be good. Like that. And now take a look. And let's see. Put a little color here first. That's the forehead. That's the nose. When you think about the nose, immediately you think about what the shape is. Okay, you think about the nose doesn't really help when you try to capture to create the suggestions. Now I'm going to give a little small triangle underneath over here. Alright, that's over the triangle. Do you see the triangle in the reference? And all our members, they can get their original size photo reference. So if you, not a member, but you want to download the photograph, the reference, and come to join us. It's easy to share information uh, as members. But if you are not a member, uh, in the future, we probably have the function for non-members, but at this point, it's become a little difficult. Okay. Hope you understand. Okay. That, that's a shape. And I'm gonna use the same color over here, coming down to the hand first. Okay, take a look at this, the hand. It could be a little bit more light. First, paint the light area of this shape, like that, and another finger, the second finger over here. And that's it, think about that. And now, we're gonna mix, I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color. Just take a little red color, a little blue, I can see a little blue here with the red, right? I'm gonna come over here, get a little bit more red, and think about the color for the cheek. Okay, more red. Okay, now, come in here. Like that. At the side of the face, I have a little bit shadow. Okay, that's good. You just see the shape. And much easier when you do it like that. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker color. Come under the nose, there's a shadow area. Put it right here. Okay, that's good. And underneath the chin. Okay. And I'm gonna use the same color and coming down this uh, bit of triangle under here, a little bit lighter. Everything shape. Like that. Okay, much darker color. 
right underneath here there's a little bit dark color you see just think about how dark is the color how i mix the color with the three primary color this simple color set okay on this side there's a little bit darker plain and also use this color for a little bit separation for the second finger okay like that that's good everything just shape now i'm going to put a little colors for a little kind of a light brown colors for the leaf that she found okay a little bit too much red so add a little uh, white color to it maybe a little bit blue okay here you go like that just put the color in the shape create a shape and there's some changes inside the, the leaf uh, but we take care of that step by step okay think about building a house okay. you cannot just start from the roof and you cannot start from the interior of a room you have to start from the foundation I'm gonna add a little lighter color more light and this because this is facing to the light a little more okay like that a little bit on the edge over here it's for now now I'm gonna come back to the face I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush yes this is a brush probably a little bit better and I'm gonna first add the brown color a little bit darker brown color for the lips first it's quite dark I'm gonna come in here step by step star over here coming all the way to the corner here it's very easy if you think about oh painting is hard painting a portrait is hard because that's what you have in mind and making you afraid of it and making you think about something else that could be unnecessary destruction and if you think about it, you just feel a paint a few shapes together would that make you feel better you know it's just not much complication it's just a few shape okay like this a little shape and then I'm gonna pray a paint a little triangle in this area inside the triangle there is some other shape but we come back to take care of that later so each step you're taking care of one small challenge. Make the big challenge become small challenges, one at a time. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now I come to the lower lip. And the lower lip have a little bit brighter red color so I'm going to just take the red color with the white right over here like that. a little bit more white Make the red color a little bit thicker. There you go. More red at the edge. Okay. Like that. Okay. That's supposed to be supposed easy enough. Now I'm gonna get some small white color into the Represent for the T, I'm gonna get this just the white color. Let's see. Right in here. Look 
observe to see where is the location, where's the shape, and that's it. And later you can add more detail to it. That's fine. And I'm gonna come back to the skin color on the chin. A little bit more, a little bit more gray. So I'm gonna pick this color coming here and have a little bit more white, make it a little bit lighter. Value is always important. Now take that color, this, and I'm gonna come back here. Let's see, there's the shape for the chin, like that. And I'll come back here to form the color for the nose. You see that you always can have a second chance to come back to refine it and the forehead. If you think the shape of the forehead should be changed in that case, and you have another chance to come back to change it later. Okay. Now I come to reform the shape above the mouth. I'm gonna take this color. Okay. Come back over here, that's good. Look like small triangle. Like that. That's pretty good. And now I'm going to just let this color blend in a little. Okay. And let this color soften the edge a little bit. Okay. I'm going to have a little red color on the cheek. Like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna get a little bit smaller now and have the wet color connected to. And the cheek already look finished, but you're looking for the color. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna come back to set a little um, a lighter color at the edge of the uh, upper area of the mouth, that's just a little color. I'm gonna suggest that a little bit better, right over here. Right here, like that. Now, I'll be at the suggestions, and I'm gonna add this color, maybe a little cooler in the shadow. And I'm going to add this. That's under the nose. That is to be a little bit lighter, actually. So, put a little bit lighter color here. That's good. Like that. And I even put a little shape in the corner, right over there. Like that. Now, I'm going to come to the corner of the mouth. Uh, let's see. Okay. Inside the T, over here, the corner, it, this is the color, like that. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's see. Now, in order to paint, uh, form the shape on the edge over here, I'm going to come back to... Um, use painting the hair and the outside. I'm just gonna take this a little bit darker color like this. As you see, it's very easy. Now paint the outside over here. And then the tea can come in a little bit more. Like that. Now, I just reform, reshape the edge. For the uh, nose, I can make it a little bit more straight by adding the color outside, like that. And then over here, a little 
big straight. Oh, that's good. Now you see the face look much better. And we can come back to do more and more. But before I leave the face, the mouth, and I'm going to put a little bit light color on the lower lip right over here. It look a little bit lighter. Thank you.